happy Friday um welcome back to our channel so <clears throat> today um it is quiet because my kids are at breakfast with Michael um sorry I'm holding my camera super funny because I have my phone in my armpit um so today it is really cold and rainy outside which is never fun because normally on Friday, so <clears throat> if you're new here, welcome. My husband is off on Fridays, and so we like to do, we like to have family days on Fridays. And of course, it decides on Fridays that it wants to be like super gross, icky weather. So, um, they are eating breakfast, um, and hopefully they'll bring me home something. I'm a little hungry um normally I'm not hungry in the least bit when I wake up in the mornings but lately for some reason I've been hungry so I we don't really have an agenda today we actually don't really have an agenda at all this weekend but um we do need to make um teacher gifts. I think, are they home? No. Um, we do need to make Brooklyn and Mackenzie's teacher gifts um, today and then tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to go yet or not. Um, for those of you who don't know or if you're new here, my grandmother passed away on Thanksgiving. Um, she had Alzheimer's for gosh probably I think it started right when Michael and I got married so almost nine years ago um so it wasn't um it wasn't surprising to us um but anyways my mom and my uncle have been um cleaning out her and my grandfather's house my grandfather, he's still living, by the way. Um, but they've been helping him clean out his house um, and get things in order. And then tomorrow, um, my siblings are going to go over there and help take stuff out um, that just needs to be taken out and go through some stuff um, that needs to be gone through. So I don't know if we're going to go yet or not. Um, but keep you updated. So, and the reason why you're probably thinking, why aren't you going to go? Well, it's just a little cray cray when you're toting kids along. You, you seem to be sometimes like more of a hindrance than a help. Um, when you're trying to do stuff like that, it's like if you were moving, um, it's always easier probably to have a babysitter during that time. So I don't know. We may just go for, um, you know, extra bodies <laughs> but um anyways i'm rambling um i didn't vlog yesterday i just wasn't feeling great um i don't know it was just one of those days i just i didn't feel good so last night michael and i went out um we for those of you who are new here we go out every thursday night it's kind of like our set and we've done it ever since we've been married but it's kind of like our set night of the week to go out and unless something like dire comes up we don't miss it so um we went out last night and got wrapping paper for the girls presents and i'll share this story it's pretty funny let me let me actually just sit down instead of pacing back and forth that that may be helpful for my arm too so brooklyn i guess she's been watching um so she watches a lot of family vlogs on YouTube, which is actually why we started our channel. Um, she gets all the credit for that. So she was watching, I don't, I don't know who she was watching. Um, she watches a couple of different people, but, um, I guess she was watching their Christmas videos from last year or years past. And she came up to me and she said, mom, um, 
does Santa wrap our gifts or not? <laughs> and I knew exactly what she was getting at. Cause you know, some people like for me growing up, my parents never wrapped our gifts from Santa. Um, they just laid them out <clears throat> and we kind of each had like each sibling had their little spot, um, where their toys would be. And, but I know a lot of people wrap their gifts and they go under the tree. And so I knew exactly what she was getting at. Cause she had watched some people, um, with presents wrapped and she'd watched some people with presents not wrapped. And so she was all sorts of confused. <laughs> um, so anyway, she was, she was asking me, does Santa wrap them or does he not? And I said, well, I said, he just does what mommy and daddy ask him to do. So if we ask him to wrap them, then he'll wrap them. And if we ask him to not wrap them, then he won't. And she was kind of like, oh. And I said, um, do you like, would you like him to wrap them or would you rather him not? And she says, he needs to wrap them. <laughs> and I said, why? Um, and she said, because she said, I want to be surprised. So I get it. I totally get it. Um, and plus it'll take up some time on Christmas morning having her unwrap all of them. So, um, we went out and bought wrapping paper last night and some bows and, um, some gift bags for her teacher gifts and just took care of the last little final details. I still... I guess the only thing left that I need to do is like stocking things, but honestly, I think I'm just going to throw in like snacks and probably stuff from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Spot at Target, like nothing, nothing too crazy for stockings. Um, my parents used to put in like, um, nail, well, when I got older, like nail polish, lip gloss, um, but mainly it's candy. Um, and even to this day, it's pretty much candy. So... Um, that's all I think that we have left. Can you believe Christmas is in, what is it, 11 days, 10 days? So nuts. Um, we have, um, which I'm actually really excited about. I get really excited for the children's Christmas party who's at church because I guess just seeing how excited it makes Brooklyn. She love. I mean, she is my party girl. She loves parties. So She's been looking forward to it since I told her about it. Um, they're going to decorate some cookies and they're going to see Santa and um, what else? Where they can make ornaments and just some fun stuff. So that'll be fun, but you'll get to see it. Um, and I want to say thank you to those of you who have sent in um, questions uh, for Michael and I to do. I think we're going to film that this weekend attempt to film it this weekend. It's hard for us to sit down. Like it's, it's especially hard for me to sit down and film like a formal video with kids. Um, because Kenzie naps, but Brooklyn has a hard time sitting there and be, being quiet. Um, so we'll see how it goes when I don't have Michael to sort of like entertain her while I film. So we'll see how that goes. She will probably make an appearance or sit in between us the whole time. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what you guys do for presents. Do you wrap them or do you leave them unwrapped? Um, we are actually, I think, going to do Christmas morning here on Christmas Eve. Um, I haven't really like finalized those details with Michael yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do because then Christmas morning we will be at my mom's. Um, so Santa's going to come to our house early. You guys, my mom the other day, she was saying how she was like, Brooklyn is so smart. She's going to figure out this whole Santa thing. And I was like, I oh, know, but so we do Santa. Um, if you don't do Santa, that's totally fine. Um, we do do Santa, but I at least have tried to be pretty intentional with Brooklyn in letting her know that kind of everything that Santa does comes through mom and dad. <laughs> like we communicate with Santa and Santa basically is our little slave. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's how we're handling it thus far. Um, and you know, mommy and daddy give Santa, um, ideas for gifts and all kind of stuff. So Anyways, I'm going to actually, 
film this weekend a clean with me and I don't know when it'll go up because I don't know how long it'll take me. <laughs> um, I do not, I cannot clean my entire house in one day. So what you will probably see in that video is um, me in multiple different outfits on multiple different days. So I'm gonna hit what I can hit today, I'll hit what I can hit tomorrow, I'll hit what I can hit on Sunday, and it'll probably just be like an entire weekend ultimate clean my entire house with me video. So I'm gonna actually start filming that right now while I'm by myself. Most, or actually the majority of me wants to just sit here and watch TV. Um, but I'm gonna try to at least pick up right now and then I can clean later. So we'll see you in a second. So we just got done eating lunch. It's cold, man. Freeze it. <laughs> I was telling them that it was hard. I don't have a mint. Huh? Do you have a mint? Uh, I don't. We don't have any mints. I have a mint. I don't have one. I have a mint. I gotta get you something else, Kenzo. Uh. It's gonna be even better than a mint. Brooklyn's been trying to talk him into getting her a Christmas Eve dress. Um. He's not down. Christmas Eve dresses, Easter dresses, not his thing. Not for one time uses. Well, it wouldn't be because Kenzie could wear it next year. Mommy! Nah, uh, you know you'd want something. <laughs> no? Mommy! That's the pro of having, just a minute. Mom. That's the pro of having the same Mommy. gender child. Mommy! Two times. Mommy, it's time Listen, you being so rude. Mommy, can I tell you? Yep, go ahead. Ow! This child needs a nap. Mommy, I phone. Listen, Mommy. I don't even know where it is. Whoa. Huh? I phone. Okay, just a minute. I have daddy's phone. No. I have mommy's phone. No. I have phone, Mom. No. Do phone. people do Christmas cards still? Hold on one second. I don't. Maybe people just don't like us because we haven't gotten any. But I feel like people don't really do that anymore. It's too soon to get them. No, I guess not. Too soon. They don't have our new address. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's I bet you they haven't updated it. That's true. Daddy. Can. It's done. It's done. Hold on. Hold on. It's done. Okay, Brooklyn, what are we making? Oreo balls. Oreo balls. Hey, get your hands out of there. So we were making, if you're one of Brooklyn's teachers, surprise. Um, I'm gonna show them. Okay, show them. we are making um, kind of like Oreo balls to go in teacher gifts. So, first step, I guess we can tell you Help how me. to make them. Okay, I got it. Help me, put some more. All right, so what's step one? Step one's do what? Well, step one, what do we do? Put Oreos in the container. Yep, put Oreos in the container. Good job. Are you helping, Kans? Yeah. We're making Oreos. If you have a ninja blender, you're going to put about maybe eight or ten Oreos <laughs> in a container. But if you don't, you want to get about eight or ten in just a regular blender. Or if you don't have a blender, no, like we to, used to not do it in the you, blender. You need a blender. All right, Brooklyn, tell them we're gonna take some cream cheese here. Cream cheese. <laughs> put it into the Oreos, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge and the melt some. Like that. Oh yeah. <laughs>
So then you want to sit them in the fridge for a little bit and just kind of let them harden. After they sit in the fridge for a little bit, you just place them into melted almond bark. Uh, and that's it, and then you put them back in the fridge and let them harden some more. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys later. Bye.